Hello, I'm Robert Trevino, Music Director of the Bass National Orchestra. We want to welcome the audiences of Munich to our concert on December 6th. Ich bin Moitze Erdmann, Sopranistin, und freue mich wahnsinnig, auch in München dabei zu sein mit äh, Mahler Väter Sinfonie und Liedern von Soro Zabal, einem baskischen Komponisten. And also on the program Elgar Enigma Variations. The program that we have in Munich, uh, we open with the leader of Soro Saba, and then we have Elgar Enigma Variations and Mahler Fourth Symphony. And it's a very interesting set of music that we have on the program. The orchestra, the Bass National Orchestra, has a long tradition since its founding of performing Mahler, and also performing Bass composers, which are very much central to our project here. And uh, Elgar, Enigma Variations, is a composer in particular, Elgar, that we're focusing on this season throughout the Basque Country. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Moise Elgar. And it's your first time singing any Basque music with a Soro Sava, isn't it? It is, yes, and this music is so beautiful. Um, when you sent it to me and I looked at it, I completely fell in love with this wonderful warm music so it's um, of course something very interesting for me also to sing in Basque language and especially as these songs are written by um, Heine, Heinrich Heine. So actually it's a mixture of German and Basque. Yeah, of course, yeah. And uh, the aesthetic, don't you find it to be something in between what people would expect from Spanish music, perhaps the Falla, in this sort of very um, elegant Southern European flavor, but also there's something very French about the colors, don't you think? Yes, and also the rhythm, these uh, fünf Viertel. Yeah. yeah. Da, 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 di, da, da. It's like a dance and it's, it, it, it completely goes into the body. But uh, it's not your first time singing Mahler. You've sang this no, many, Mahler many, many times. No, Mahler Fourth, I have sung many, many times, yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting because it was performed in Munich for the first time. When, yes. Yeah, it was one oh. of the first performances of all time for, for the Mahler Fourth Symphony was in okay. Munich. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a very big success for Mahler, but, uh, but now, of course, time has gone by and everybody understands that it's a spectacular piece of, of music. Yeah. Full of so many different things. You know, you almost have to think, at least here in this Basque country, it seems that it's a transition point, you know, from the south to the north, there's so many different influences, and culturally and musically, there's so many different influences. And you hear that, I think, in the Sorosaba songs, but certainly, I think, in the same way that you hear Mahler's music, you can't say it is Austrian. You don't say it no, is no, no. German, or it, it's quite pan-European in many ways. I think especially in this fourth symphony of, of Gustav Mahler, you have heaven and earth and death as well, so there are so many colors. Also the text, the poetry, it has like a very big double meaning and many, many colors. So I think it's very interesting. But this year in our season's uh, programs, we're focusing on Elgar, we're focusing on Rachmaninoff and Dvorak. And, um, and also Mahler really fits into this category as well, which are composers who at the beginning of their composition career were not very well accepted. They, they were great musicians, very well accepted in other departments. And so we have focused this year in, in the Basque Country on the music of uh, Elgar because it's, it's close music to my heart. But what is very clear to me as a conductor is that his influences come from France, he has come from Italy, they come from Germany, they come from the music of Mahler, they come from the music of Brahms, Bruckner. And in a way, I think that in the same way that the Basque country is operating and working within many different aesthetics and different cultures, Elgar is also the same, just on the other yep. side of Europe, and we get to present all of that. So I think it's a very interesting um, type of uh, collaboration between the three composers. I mean, our first interaction was really great for me. Yeah, I, I felt the same. It was a very warm welcome, and it's fantastic to do music with you. It feels so natural. Thank and you. That we have the same like kind of feeling about the pieces and. Um, yeah, we didn't really have to talk very no, much. No, no. Yeah. It was pretty That's easy. always a very good sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. and the orchestra is so friendly, and yeah, it's it's just nice to do music with all of you. Yeah. So we look forward to, to everyone coming to the concert and just getting to experience some great music with wonderful musicians. Okay.